Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be part one in a two series of installing APK files, XAPK files and bundle APK files into the Pico headset and locking all of the potential for applications you can use within this headset. So you can see right here I've got Discord, I've got USB camera, Netflix, Bamboo Handy, all of this sort of stuff is exactly like it was on my phone or tablet. It's the full Android application, not web apps, not any cut down versions. Um, there's loads I can get here, I won't go into everything, but I'll cover how to get this very quick. So, for me, there's two um, applications I really want to show off and I'll cover them in a second. But the main one we need to start with here is the Aurora Store. Now I've covered how to do this before, but there is something I need to go over um, for the new PK4 Ultra update. So, we're going to go to auroraoss.com, and you know you're on the right website because it has a really fancy landing page here. And we're going to go to Downloads, Aurora Store, Latest, Latest APK, and Download. So that puts it up into the download section here, where I can just click open and install. Super easy. So the first time you're going to use Aurora Store, it's going to ask for permissions. So you just click Next, and grant all of these permissions that it needs. Just fire through these really quick. The last one here. Um, this is your choice. You can add the ability to do play.google.com and market.android.com. What that essentially means is if you're searching for an app and it, you have a link on Google that goes to play.com, when you click it to install, it will then open your Aurora store for you, which is quite handy. So once I've done those, I click finish. And at this point, you could log in with a Google account, but you don't have Google Play services or um, the game play services. So, in all honesty, I just tend to stick with Anonymous. Um, there is applications I've bought that don't require Google Play license checks, and that's cool. But realistically, everything I need works as it is on Anonymous. So, before we start installing anything, especially on the PK4 Ultra, there's one thing I want to cover, and that is changing the device to be a phone, essentially. So, we're going to go to Settings, go to Spoof Manager, and instead of the Play Store looking towards the new Pico device, which is reported correctly. Um, that's caused some issues where it doesn't know what it is, so it doesn't doesn't show up in compatible uh, applications. So I'm going to scroll down and just select any fairly recent phone. So Galaxy S24 Ultra, that's fine. I'll just click that. Click Restart. I'll log back in with an anonymous account. And that's it. That's the only fix I need to do. So applications will show up correctly now. They'll work correctly. Um, silly fix, but it's super easy. So, there's two more applications I would recommend grabbing immediately from a raw store to help install basically any Android application. And the first one is going to be Z Archiver. So, I'm going to click on this, go install, click install again, and I can just open from here for a minute. First time I launch this, I also need to give the permissions. So I'm just going to do that. I click on the download folder that gets rid of that um, thing saying it's not permitted yet. So this is all done. So this application is obviously meant for controlling. Basically, it's like a file manager. So if you have compressed files like .zip or .rar, 7-zip, any, anything like that, you can go into this application and unzip them that way. That's essentially what I use it for. However, um, if I just close the Aurora store, second and go back to a Pika web browser. For example, if I've downloaded um, a compressed file, like a .rar file, I normally can't open it from the Pika web browser. But now I've installed the archiver, I can click open, I can open with that, and it's a blink and you miss it. It looks like it's crashed, but it's not crashed, it's just super quick at working. What that's now done is automatically extract the folder for me of that .rar file, which is awesome. That's such a time saver. So that's a really cool bonus to using the archiver on the Pico. And there's also another bonus you can use from that, again, sticking within the Pico web browser, is the Z archiver can install XAPK files. So if I just scroll down and find one that I've got here, normally this wouldn't install. XAPK is incompatible with the Pico file manager, but because we've now got Z archiver, I can click open, open with that, and it will bring up the installer prompt. So that's awesome. So I've now unlocked basically 
more compatibility with Android apps um, outside of the Aurora store. So up to down, APK Pure, APK Mirror, anywhere you want to get them from. So that is the APK, uh, XAPK and the extraction done. The other one I would recommend from the Aurora store itself is CX File Manager. Now this one is an incredibly loaded application with loads of functionality. So I've already installed it here, I'll just open it for example. Going over the basics here, if you've got USB storage you want to plug in, it will work and find that just fine. Um, FAT32 and NTFS drives are supported. That's really handy because this is one application essentially that you can see your videos, launch videos within a window like this. Whereas compared to PK File Manager, it will launch the video into an XR space. So super quick and easy, nice and easy to use. So the video's out of the way. There's a big bonus to this, as in the system app, the actual system files, you can get to this way that's not accessible from the Pico File Manager. Um, for example, if I go to the main storage and go to um, the Android folder uh, at the top, there we go. Um, and I can now see the data folder and all of the files within here. So I can control them that way. I can't do that from the Pico File Manager. So that's a really handy situation you now have with this application. So that's cool. If you've got mods and stuff that need to use that data folder, no problem, you can access that. If you want to access things from your PC, the network functionality of this application, you can connect to a NAS or FTP storage, or even um, create a wireless transfer service over Wi-Fi. So you start the service, it gives you an IP address and a password. You basically go on your computer, type in the IP address to a file explorer, like uh, just Windows File Explorer, and connect to your headset. And because of the Wi-Fi 7, the transfer speeds are insane. It's as fast as the storage of this headset would allow. Um, basically as good as a USB cable without having the pain in the ass of using a USB cable. So that's really cool. That's a nice feature there. So that's the storage situation done. Um, one more in relation to the Picos at least is I've previously covered when you have game updates on some games in the Pico store, the game updates don't get deleted. They are OBB main files. That video is still relevant. It still works. That's the exact fix you need to do. However, this application as well, um, when you go to sort of analyze here, you can go up to your main storage, uh, go to more. You can see exactly what the um, app is without going through the folder and seeing um, the file files on the folders. That's the previous video. Much the same. You go in here, OBB, it shows the games and it shows the files and you can delete the files this way. So again, one application to rule them all, essentially. Um, so that is, I think the file system stuff out of the way. There's the APKM bundle situation, which the archiver can't do, but this application can do. And this this can also do the XAPKs. Um, however, you're obviously gonna need to go into this application to find them as opposed to the web browser. So APKM is a bundle file that is not compatible with the PK file manager, not compatible from the browser. But this application, you can click on that and bring up the installer just as you normally would. Essentially, fully unlocking every single instance of an Android application install file name into the Pico. So we've got XAPK, APK, and APK bundles in the form of APKM, fully compatible now within the Pico. So amazing application, loads of functionality, network storage is brilliant, network transfers are brilliant, um, being able to access the, the data folder, just amazing. Just this free application, no adverts, highly, highly recommend. So that is basically my two uh, applications I would recommend for full compatibility. But of course, I always recommend the raw store if you are gonna get your applications from here. This is the safest way to do so. It pulls it from Google Play. So if you want Discord, you just search for Discord within the Raw Store and install. That's as simple as that. And all of these work correctly. There's no bugginess. There's no jankiness. Um, they all work correctly as if they would on your phone or tablet. The only instance you're going to find compatibility is, for example, if you want YouTube um, 
from the Google Play Store, which is essentially what this is pulling from, that won't work. However, I've done a separate video explaining how you can get YouTube and also Google Music and Spotify and anything that's uh, requiring those premium subscription tiers, uh, along with blocking adverts within YouTube and stuff using Revanced. So that's going to be in the next video. Um, quite easy to follow along. Everything's done in headset as always. No PC involved. Super, super simple. Hope these two videos help. I'll sign off on this one saying thank you very much. Hope that helps. See you later.